got the feds irate. Starving ass niggas want my head on the plate. Thirsty ass hoes want my blood in the glass. Still, I come through flow like I'm above all of that. You see my heads in the cloud. The sky's the limit. And when it come to penetrating, I ain't never been timid. CTV glasses, you got a minute to, to plug the album, let them know what you're doing out here. That motherfucker Steve, oh yeah. That motherfucker Steve, man, so I'm gonna leave y'all alone with Glass Malone, your boy Cotty, you know, I'm out. Peep game, man, because you ain't gonna get it any better than right here with G Malone, the homie. The album coming out soon, check that shit. That's what's up, G what's Malone. What's your name, man? What's good with you, man? Chilling, eating peanuts. When Jay Z first tried to sign me, one of the first record deals I offered, I remember Jay Z eating peanuts, talking to me. And it stays stuck in my mind. Every time I get a bag of peanuts, I think about when Jay was trying to sign me. He was in the Def Jam office like, you nice, B. So, shout out to Jay for that. I still remember that nigga. G Malone, hell of a performance tonight, my man. Mm. But the, we putting the West Coast back on the map, bringing it strong. Man, I'm trying to, for sure, man. I'm working on like a Marvel. That's what's up. The game and them kicked the dance, so I gotta keep running through the dope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you uh you out there messing with cash money? Yeah. Uh -huh. Who banging? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. What can you tell us about that, man? What you what you got going down out there? I mean, you already know what it is with cash money. You know, the richest niggas in the business. Who banging? Mac Chan. Might be one of the richest niggas on the West Coast. It's a lot of money going around, you know what I mean? Besides that, it's a lot of it's a lot of good music coming from out the camp. You know, you got cash money. Wayne, me, Bow, Two Pistol, um, of course, Turner Man, the CEO, <laughs> Jay Sean with this hit on the regular, yeah, Charles Jay Sean. And with Wayne, you got the Young Money Cam, which is Dre, Twist, Chucky, Nicki Minaj, um, the little singer girl, I forgot her name, she's hard, she's sitting on uh, the rock song. I mean, it's camp deep though, you feel me? You out uh, here on the KOD tour with Tech 9 Shout out to Tech, hell yeah. Um, first nigga to ever take me on tour, so shout out to Tech and him. His following is, his following is second to none. The motherfucking technicians, boy, they second to none. That's what's up. Yeah. We just did the show tonight in Des Moines. Uh -huh. Hey, explosive. Last night you was in Omaha. Yeah, that was crazy. Is it tomorrow? Y'all got Minneapolis? It's Sunday, but we there early. That's what's up. So, yeah. Give y'all a little kick at time. I'm on Twitter, you feel me? I just seen um, this picture. It's a picture right here. This is big. Let me show it to you. That's right here. This is the biggest picture I've seen on the West Coast in a long time. I'm so happy. They're in the studio right now. Snoop, Dre, Gang. Detox is coming. Yeah. So, you already know how the West Coast, where I head at right now. We've been waiting for a minute. Then everybody do their stuff. It's that time. That's what's up. What can we expect from you next? My album and stores. November 14th. Um, November 24th, excuse me. Expect insanity, man. I'm just gonna go crazy. And, um, I'm like NWA all rolling in one. You know what I mean? So, Shit that come on my mouth probably is uh probably gonna give me uh locked in jail or something. But that's all I know to do is talk this shit that motherfucker Steve. That motherfucker Steve a cold nigga, dog. That's the hardest name I ever heard. Appreciate that, but it, it went over my homeboy Crip Charlie from Six O. He had the hardest name at first. Charlie, you got you. that motherfucker Steve is a hard name. After this you got the the soft white yeah, tour. That, yeah, yeah, that one gonna be crazy. Um Got the Saw White Tour and the Swollen Members Tour. Saw White Tour is me and Mac 10. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, Mac 10, his album came out Tuesday. Go pick it up if you don't got it. But really good. Probably one of the best Mac 10 albums in about six years, seven years. Um, it's going down. What's up? Who, who can we expect to hear on your new album? I'm trying to tag money, so of course you get the usual suspects. Baby Wayne. Um, everybody else signed cash money, who banging? Of course I got Max in. Um, I got Ross on there, T Pain, Akon. I got the best of the best. 
the best of the best. Is it complicated being signed to two different labels? Mm, nah, because whenever I want to get some money, it's two people I can ask. Sometimes give me double the money. <laughs> so it's all good. That's what's up. So it is really you on your MySpace and on your Twitter? Yeah, I'm on machine. Yeah. I use my own shit. That way, you feel me? Like, a motherfucker can't really, um, a person can't respond for me. And, um, how can you be too busy for people that support your album and support your music? It's a lot of work. That's one thing I respect about Strange Music, Tech Nine, Cut. Um, Chris, they take time to meet all a lot of their fans, shake hands, you know what I mean? And, and it's like, it's a different, you can tell these fans are a lot loyal than the average nigga fans who got pop fans because they had a popular hit. They got fans because that. These dudes have a legitimate fan base. <clears throat> Same goes for Cottonmouth Kings and ICP. People like that have legitimate fan bases, you know, because they have to get their fans the attention that, that's necessary to keep them and they connect with them, so I'm just working on doing shit like that, you know what I mean? Well, we definitely appreciate you sitting down with us. I ain't gonna tie you up a whole bunch. I know you got things to do and I gotta go break down the rest of this set. <laughs> yeah. but it's all good, man. It's good. The Glass and Malone in the house, MCTV. Sky's the limit when it come to penetrating. I ain't never been.